Hello and welcome to the next video um, and in this video we're going to be uh, configuring RIP using GNS3 again version 1.3 RIP being the distance vector routing protocol um, so, so this demonstration will consist of uh, three routers um, Cisco routers obviously two switches and two virtual hosts so um, I'll show you in a minute the, the routers that we're going to be using the switches but the, the GNS version is version 1.2.3 all right and so what what is the purpose of this video well it, it's to show you the RIP routing protocol advertising routes to its neighbor routers um, we will it, it's also it, it will confirm connectivity from one PC to another proving that RIP is working as it should be. So let's fire up GNS3 to start with. Let's get rid of that screen. Okay, so let, let me just quickly show you the, the, the Cisco routers that, that I'm using, the images. So we've got to uh, pre edit preferences, Cisco iOS routers. So um, the ones we're going to use today is the uh, C2691 2600 series routers um, and that's the image there advanced IP services which has the, 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 the widest range of commands and functionality um, I can't divulge where, where these images are found but uh, for the purpose of training I, I've discovered them on the internet and uh, Obviously, uh, they're not too difficult to find. Right. So, without further ado, let's start the start the uh, the demo. So, I'm going to lay out the topology first, and then we'll do the configuration, and then finally we'll move on to the testing. So, first we need the three Cisco routers. So, pull the three, pull one here, uh, here, and here, and here. Next, we want Ethernet switches, which are here. These come standard in GNS3, uh, so no no uh, prior tweaking or configuration required. Switch one and switch two, and then finally we want the virtual hosts. We here we'll use VPCs. So one and two. So what we need to do now is create the connections between and link all of this together. So we'll click on the, the connectivity, the link button, and we'll start with router one. So serial one zero. We'll go to serial one zero on R two. Serial one one. We'll go to serial one for argument's sake. Serial one zero. And then we'll do fast Ethernet zero. And to switch port, not really matter. It does. It doesn't really matter. So let's do port one and do fast Ethernet zero to switch port one, and then we'll connect the switch to the PCs. So those are connected. Um, we'll take that off and we'll fire everything up. Green, 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 green. Okay, so now we are ready to configure the IP addresses. Uh, let's just view the interfaces. There you go. So we'll configure the interfaces now, and and we'll also configure RIP, and finally we'll test everything to make sure it works. Okay, so to make things easier, I have I paused the video. And I've configured, or I've, ju I've, I've just placed the IP addresses w that we will be configuring on each interface, just to make so it just doesn't look like I'm. Ra well, you, you can see the network unfold a as as I configure it. So um, let's start with router one. So right click, go to console. Okay, so conf t. So we'll do interface uh, between router one and router two. Which is interna interface serial one zero. So interface 
serial one zero IP address two hundred one one two uh, two five five two five five two five zero no shut okay and we'll also do serial one interface serial one one slash one and IP address thirty one 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 two five five two five five two five five zero and also no shut okay and whilst we are here we will configure the rip routing protocol which is very very simple so we'll do router rip indicating to the router that we want to use the rip routing protocol and we also tell it the version which is version 2 uh, version 1 is I think is, is not used anymore um, and we will now advertise basically what we're going to do is, is tell the routing protocol what networks we want to advertise so naturally we want to advertise both interfaces uh, or both networks that the interfaces belong to so we'll do network first of all we'll do the 200 110 and we'll also do 200 uh, sorry the 30.1.1.0 and that's it bam done so router one's completed uh, just save that config now um, just quickly, I'll show you in its brief. Show IP interfaces brief. You'll see the two com interfaces we configured are up, but protocol down. That's obviously because router two, router three interfaces are still down. Okay, but the IP addresses are there, ready, waiting to be used. Okay, so we'll just close this, and now we'll move on to router two. Okay, so we'll do the same config T. Um, we'll do the the interface between router 2 and router 1 first so interface serial 1 slash 0 IP address 200.1.1.1 no shut that will bring the, the connections between each other up and we'll also configure the fast ethernet interface which is com which is connected to the switch so interface oh, let's come out of here interface fast, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address 172.16.1.1 slash 255.255.0.0 we're using a class B just to, to make things different and we'll do a no shut and we also obviously not forgetting we need to do router rip on this router as well <coughs> so version 2 <coughs> and we want to advertise the networks that it knows about 1600 and also network uh, 200.1.1.0 done so we are now just to show IP into brief so that that's connection to router one, and that's the connection to the switch, both up and running. Okay, so let's um, write mem. I'll just minimise that, and we'll go move on to router three. So com t interface serial one slash zero IP address thirty dot one dot one dot two. Mask two five five two five five two five five zero no shut and then interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero IP address ten dot two dot two dot one two five five two five excuse me two five five two five five zero no shut okay so those show IP interface brief and they are up and running as well so uh, in the background rip is is work well actually excuse me beg your pardon we need to configure router on this one as well router rip version 2 version 2 I do apologize so we have to advertise the networks that the router knows about so it's 10.2 excuse me 10.2.2.0 network um, 
30.1.1.0 and we'll write the, save the config and finally um, we just need to configure the, the two P end, end hosts that we, where we'll conduct the tests or one of the tests so let's do PC1 first uh, console okay so the IP address we want to put on here so IP 172.16.1.10 slash 16 with a gateway of router 2 fast ethernet 172.16.1 excuse me dot one dot one enter okay and let's just quickly do piece minimize that we'll do PC2 <coughs> IP 10.2.2.20 slash 24 with a gateway of 10 routers 3's fast ethernet interface 10.2.2.1 okay so so we're all set to go so from here um, what we'll do we'll just check, check connectivity between PC2 and its gateway just to make sure okay ping so we, we can ping from the, the PC to here so what what, what what we can do now is we'll, we'll try and ping PC2 to router 1 perhaps the S10 interface 200.1.1.2 ping 200.1.1.2 excuse me 1.1.2 there you have it so so by that very nature that the ping is responding means rip is working now we'll go all the way around We'll ping PC1 from PC2, so we want to ping, I'll move that over here, ping 172.16.1.10, just wait for it, and there we go. So th that effectively means there is a link all the way around, the routers are talking to each other, sharing each other's network, um, and we will, sh we will have a look at that right now. So let's go to router 1 console. Okay, we'll just clear and we'll do show IP, excuse me, IP root. And there you have it. R standing for RIP. It's broadcasting the 172.16 network. And it's broadening the 10.0.0 network and 30.0.0 network. So there you have it. Um, these are the timers. RIP updates every 30 seconds, but. Um, as you can quickly see on routers 2 and 3 it will obviously have the same information uh, show IP route so they're all sharing the same information and that is a very simple uh, demonstration on how RIP works and um, thanks for watching and uh, please come back to my channel I'll have uh, other videos um, on different protocols and other, and other interesting and cool stuff. Thanks. Bye-bye.